Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel. I'm doing it right here today. I'm working on some pretty cool stuff. I couldn't get the camera to be stable because I usually put it on my table. Uh, working on a lot of prizes that are coming out, but right now, um, validation here again. Like I told you guys, a lot of people disagreed with me and I'm cool with that. I always love it when you guys disagree, but again, I validated it to you. I just want you to understand that everything I say in my videos is always true, is always full of truth, nothing but truth. This is an independent channel that belongs to you and I. Okay, this is our channel and uh, that's pretty much what it is. So I give you guys nothing but the honest, uh, honest truth about things and sometimes you guys disagree sometimes even fanboys uh, come on this uh, channel and starts throwing a fit uh, even though I told you guys that I took it apart and everything so let's get right to it and we'll get more into it <laughs> So guys, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. Uh, when I took apart the Nintendo Switch Lite, I told you guys that it had the same exact joystick in it. I told you guys that it's going to be a horrible investment because if you get it and something happens and it starts to drift, what the hell's going to happen? You can't take apart the Joy-Con, right? Because the Joy-Con is... Let me see if I could get that. The Joy-Con is easier to take apart when it's separate, right? But the thing is, because it's attached, you're kind of stuck with it, okay? And you, you can't take it apart. You'll have to take the whole damn thing apart. And to, to be honest, I did, I did that. I'll probably do a step-by-step -step video if somebody gives me a donor one. I did it with my friend's uh, Switch. Uh, if he'll lend it to me again, I'll do it for you guys like I did with the other Joy-Cons. But guys, it is a serious operation to do to take it apart and put it together. It's not as easy as the other one is. The other one also, you're, it's not that much of a liability risk. If you screw it up, which is pretty much screw proof, as I, if you guys follow my video, you won't screw it up almost definitely. Uh, obviously, parent uh, advisory, you know, if you're underage or something, have your parents with you. Just got to say that in the disclaimer here. But uh, the thing is, it's a it's less of a liability because if you screw that up, what do you do? You simply just put it where you you buy another one for 60 bucks. In this case, if you screw it up, you're going to have such a big screw up that if any little spark or any little uh, any little charge or something like that goes wrong, what's going to happen is it's going to fry your entire freaking board. OK, because it's all connected. It's not like separated Joy-Cons. This thing will literally fry. And I know so many people who try to repair their Joy-Cons and the original Nintendo Switch when you guys, you know, you guys told me we did it and we didn't know how and you guys fried your mother your board of the Joy-Con only. But now picture this, the Joy-Con even though they're kind of separated, they they have the the you know, the wiring and everything all in the same unit you're going to fry the entire motherboard. Now, mo if you guys try to repair something as massive as this. So it becomes much more problematic and a way higher liability cost that if you screw this up. Now, if you send it back to Nintendo, which looks like that's what's going to happen, <clears throat> you know, you're going to probably get a new one if it's within warranty. But of course, they give you a refurbished one, which means it could be crap. But, uh, you know, whatever. But that's why I told you guys, $200, I don't care. This thing's not worth the investment because it becomes more of a liability. Now, I get it if it's in kids' hands, and I think that's, you know, that's obviously what it was designed for. Uh, the light version, you know, whether fanboys like to believe it or not, it was originally designed to keep, the, you know, to have something for the kids. Like I said before, they should have released it ages ago. Okay, the fact that there's no joy cons that could be removed becomes a little problematic. But if you have a little kid tugging along, you know, tugging along on the joystick, right, the analog sticks, whatever, uh, what's going to happen is he, he has less pressure. These kids have less pressure than an adult hand. For example, me with my orangutan hands, I'll fry that thing in two seconds. I'm not even kidding. So this freaking i don't know what to call it i i don't know how nintendo did not see this as another big issue 
uh, to not make it different. They should have made it different. And I said this in the other video, and I got flamed. Oh my God, the thumbs down. Everybody was, you know, everybody was flaming me. Of course, you know, a, a lot of people agreed with me, but you had all these fanboys coming out of nowhere hitting me up. And I told you guys, and you said, no, it's different. And I said, no, I took it apart. I know how this thing is. And I know that it's the same pile of poop they put in the Nintendo Switch, the original Nintendo Switch. Okay, so when I told you guys that, uh, to the fanboys, are probably not even going to be on this video right now because obviously they didn't subscribe or, or will get alerted i hope it finds you so you guys understand that i'm not here to hurt the product i love nintendo but at the same time i'm here to warn the consumer with true information so they can make better informed decisions this is the reason of this channel it's an independent channel to bring people not the paid for idiots who all of them said it's a great great system i can't wait till it's in their hands oh my god i can't wait to get my very own of course, because they get paid to tell you that. This is what this channel is about. We're independent. And we give, you know, uh, the, the, this is our channel. So you validate what I say or don't validate. I love that. I love that. I love to get it out there. But understand that when I tell you guys something, and I say it's from Nintendo of America because I have friends there. I have a friend in, in, in GameStop, friend in Best Buy. But from Nintendo of America, he told me himself, and then I take it apart and tell you guys and make a video and tell you about it that it's the same pile of poop. Trust me when I do that. Because I don't make videos for the sake of doing videos. I'm not a career YouTuber. Okay, I have a job. I have three jobs. I don't need... I don't, I, I, need, I don't do this. This is not my career. I do this to give back to the community. So we all give back to the community. This is our community. So we all could say what we, we are. Now I, I told you, it's not just one. Okay, there's people on forums nonstop talking about how their crapperoo, their mini poop is now drifting. So what do they do? So they're sending it back to Nintendo, most of them. Some of them are selling it on eBay. Again, beware, guys, when you buy used Nintendo Switches on eBay, because I'm telling you, you will be really sad, because there's a lot of people who won't say there's drifting issues and try to sell you a lemon. Okay? So be careful out there. But that's what I got to tell you. doesn't operate. So take it apart. If you know what the hell you're doing, you have to take the whole damn thing apart. My recommendation is, if you're within the warranty, send it back to Nintendo. Get a refurbished mini poop okay refurbished like it's like it's been digested and crapped out again it's going to be the same pile of poop that you had in your hands before just used poop okay it's like you picked it up with you know the dog poop you pick it up and then you're playing with it that's exactly what it's going to be right now because it's going to drift again okay and if, if it's refurbished you damn well believe that it's gonna you know it's gonna do it again Okay, I mean, look, it's not been released for so long, and already many people are complaining. So far, there's about 15, 16 cases, if you could read them on forums and on other places. And I hate to say I told you so. In fact, I wish I was wrong. But when I took it apart and saw it was the same thing, I was like, Nintendo, what the hell were you thinking? I just don't get it, Nintendo. Now, I'm going to tell you, I had it on, you know, I had drifting issues on my Xbox 360 controllers. Of course, that, you know, it didn't happen for almost a year before it started doing that. But the Nintendo Switch and the Switch Mini have a very small little joystick, very small little analog sticks to the point that it's so easy. If you look at it, I explained it to you when I took apart and Definitely look at my video of how to take apart the Nintendo uh, Switch original, whatever, uh, the, the Joy-Con. And I tell you guys, it's designed like a piece of crap, okay? It isn't good in any sort of way. And I showed you guys how to repair it with a more superior product and, uh, on eBay, which I bought. I was surprised. And until now, I am not having one drift issue since that video, guys. And I know a friend of mine that I did it for who's leaving months before that and no issues. So it's a more superior thing. But now, again, you can't do that to this one unless you're willing to take apart the whole damn stupid unit. Okay? So $200, $100 less, you're going to pay for this pile of poop. Like I said before, and I'm calling it poop still. And you guys could hate me for it. Get the original Nintendo Switch. Get the one with the extended battery. It's a good one. It's a good deal. Get it. Enjoy it. Love it. I'm telling you, you guys cannot, you will not regret it. But whatever you do, do not get the Mini. 
Because I'm telling you, you guys will absolutely regret it in every shape and form. You guys will not like it. If you guys don't have any drifting issues right now, I promise you, you will find out that you will. Because even my Nintendo Switch will drift. Okay, the drifting. Anybody's Nintendo uh, 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 Switch system will drift. Especially if you're playing with adult hands or orangutan hands like mine. Okay, so that's the thing that you guys got to know. No matter what, it's going to drift. But... It's, you have to ask yourself, where is the bigger liability here? If I just have to replace a Joy-Con, and shame on you, Nintendo, for making these Joy-Cons so damn expensive, especially when you know that they're made of poop, okay? It's like, you, you, it's like, you know, kids, when they, when they make a sandcastle, it's like you made a sandcastle of poop and put it out there. You know that already. You should have made this damn Joy-Con, because uh, I know about, I know the cost of how much it costs, and I know that it's cheap. You guys should have made it at least like 30 bucks at most. Okay, maybe 40 if you guys want to really uh, be an extortionist. But 60 freaking dollars, shame on you. And you know, it's still less of a liability because you could take it apart and fix it yourself for a couple of dollars as I showed you in the video. The regular Joy-Cons. But on this baby, you got to send it back. And if you're in warranty, you got to send it back. And let me tell you guys something. If you have this poop in your hands... Even if you're very careful with it, you should know that in a year from now, you're going to have a pooped out controller and where the heck are you going to send it once it goes out of warranty? This thing is not worth it. That's all I got to say about it. Let me know what you guys think down below. If anybody, uh, if you like the channel, definitely sub like, subscribe, hit that bell button. This is our channel, the people's channel. So definitely comment down below, share this video, make the community grow so we can properly inform people to make right decisions. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.